is uh, not one of them. That is uh, Lena Christofferson up against Yung uh, Chi Xuan. Here's the results of what happened so far, as you can see. Denmark is up um, 2 nothing against uh, Malaysia and um, does only need one more win in the last three matches to win the overall tie. So, uh, we reached the second women's single. And just waiting to uh, get the players onto court. Both played ten days ago in uh, Finland. Uh, played against Canada, beat Rachel Chan in the uh, World Team Championship there. And Yung uh, Chi Chuan played against uh, Egypt, defeated uh, Doha Hani. Here she is. Uh, Christopherson won the silver at the uh, World Junior Championship back in uh, 2018. Lost the final to Go Jin Wei. And uh, this year she's also got another silver uh, as the uh, regular European Championship. Uh, lost the final in Kiev to uh, Carolina Marin. Here is Yung Chi Xuan. It's got done. One runner up as a senior, and that was the uh, Malaysia International Challenge back in um, 2019. They played as some. Um, Juniors and um, actually played in the uh, World Junior Championship where the Christofferson went on to uh, win the silver medal. So, a good opportunity to check uh, the development of the two players uh, in the uh, three years that has uh, passed since they played their only previous uh, encounter. Christopherson is um, coming off a win. If you um, look at tournaments, she won the uh, Denmark Masters here in uh, August. She's born in uh, Janalon, in the uh, southwestern part of um, Zealand. The, um, island where the Capital of Copenhagen is uh, situated. And her brother Mess is uh, also a um, strong badminton player, around uh, 6 to 10 in Denmark, uh, approximately. Yung Chi Shan, 20 year old here, is from uh, Perak on the uh, west coast of the uh, Malaysian Peninsula. Last tournament um, before she uh, played here. In, um, Cooper Cup was, of course, uh, the uh, Sudeman Cup in Banta. She's played Spain International uh, with a semi final uh, as the result there, and uh, also uh, Polish International, where she also reached the uh, semi final loss to Christine Kuba from uh, Estonia on that uh, occasion. So, um, based on uh, the results, I think, uh, Lena Christofferson, the uh, favourite in uh, this match here. Yoon has a Asian Junior Championship bronze from 2017 when she lost the uh, semi-final to Han Yue. And if we look at continental, continental championships, then um, Lena Christofferson has a gold from uh, 2018 as well in the European Juniors.
She's got two wins in uh, Dutch and Belgium. And she first started playing uh, international senior tournaments, so uh, three titles all together. And ranked 23rd in the world now and moved one place up this week. Did uh, Lena Christofferson whilst Yuen Chi Xuan is 134th. has um, started the match. Right. Interesting to see how the two players are going to uh, react to the situation here. That's the uh, addition in a team competition that there's also always um, it's always a bigger picture than just the single match. There's the standing in the uh, Overall team tie at, at the moment. Dina Christofferson is um, at an advantage together with the rest of the Danish team 2 0 up. Whilst for Ian and uh, Malaysia, this is a must win match. And um, I wonder if that um, puts extra pressure on uh, Ian. for these two players and their class of players they played the World Juniors back in 2018, 2017 and so on. This um, terrible Covid pandemic has uh, come on the worst um, possible moment in their career, the uh, years where they should sort of uh, develop and uh, make their way into uh, senior badminton. Wait, that's good pressure. Got an air shot to finish it off. That's not exactly how you want to do it um, if you're Lena Christofferson. Everything she did was perfect until this one. Whoops. Missed it. And it stayed inside the lines. Yeah, but it was also because there was quality in the shot from uh, Eon. It was not very high above the top of the tape, so there wasn't a lot to uh, work with for Lina Christofferson. She would have committed an error if her racket had touched the net. That's part of the explanation. Mistakes at the um, front court from uh, Leon Christofferson. who was um, runner-up in the uh, Spain Masters Super 300. Lost the final to uh, Putri Kusumawadani from Indonesia who's also here for the Yuba uh, Cup. Indonesia. 
Indonesia who previously beat uh, Germany 4-1. That just stayed on the Malaysian side there. Had to think about it. That's a good drop shot. Office and the driver's seat all the way in terms of uh, pace in that rally, but um, you stayed in it. Good shot quality, in my opinion. Does she have the uh, Malaysian? Oh, that's well played. Anticipation. Sensing that the Danes could only play the net after the pressure that uh, Ian had put on. Yeah, one left. Precise in her shot making, Yun Chi Shan. That's a good shot. Really quick um, racket movement. Beyond the reach of uh, Yun Chi Shan. From the start here, it seems like Yun Chi Shan is much, much more. And collected than um, Dina Christofferson. It's gone long. Shots that hurt, but she did well to retrieve it, uh, Lena Christofferson. Deception on Ian's you know, shots as well because we can see the legs of Valina Christofferson stopping and then going again in a different direction. And it's um, Malaysian advantage here in the first mid game interval 11 8 up. Okay, so 
From the Danish um, camp, um, Ms. Mahoko read the situation correctly, according to Lena Christofferson, that she had uh, tried to set a high pace, but um, she was not really able to get the openings, and then she gets a little bit frustrated and, um, and um, runs out of ideas and so on. Unfortunately, I didn't hear what the solutions were uh, from, uh, from Hoko. And one of them could be something like this, being um, high on the front court, so you have more options. Reach the shuttle earlier. Oh, this beautiful play. Really good shot making by uh, you. It just sort of uh, takes an extra step for Lena Christofferson to get to it. It's really well placed, not too um, far into the court. That's well placed. That's it. Oi! She missed it. The uh, line just ch changed his mind, but I think uh, he came to the right conclusion. And she missed it. It was a big, big swing from uh, Christofferson. And again, it's like, yeah. She Played perfect until the uh, very last shot. The third shot that's gone long from uh, you lately. Five all, it's now 13 all, and uh, Christopher will deserve. Good lift. Oh, that's a great shot. So reverse slice. It's wide. Five straight points now for the Dane. Skill from uh, and she shran. Defended the body well there and also did well to retrieve that one, but uh, no chance on the last. Close 
a little bit of luck for Liam Christofferson and then she was about to uh, tear down the net it looked like. Yeah. Play. Called by you. Know, Still a lot of power and a lot of pace in uh, Lena Christofferson and everything is not successful but I feel that it could be uh, enough to win her the first game here in um, the second women's single. That's a gifted point from Eun Chi Xuan. To lift on the short services. No. That's well played. and the straight smashes from Christofferson's forehand side have sort of created a gap in the uh, short forehand of Yung Chi Xuan. But um, wasn't under pressure in this rally here, at least not in that corner. It's really well played by uh, the Malaysian, good follow up as well. Need to uh, take the initiative um, at some point in the rally, and it cannot take too long, in my opinion, if she's under pressure by um, Christofferson and her pace for too many shots, too many consecutive shots, then it becomes really difficult for her. Still two game points for the day. A beautiful deception. That wins her the first game here in uh, the second women's single, third match of the tie. Excellent uh, play by uh, Lina Christofferson. Eighteen minutes lasted the first game. Twenty-one, eighteen.
So, uh, Christopherson and Hopeful were talking about them having a calm racket. And uh, also about uh, small deceptions. And there's a small deception on that one. For the important in single that all shots look pretty much the same, or at least that you have um, shots that look the same, not necessarily all of them. <laughs> There's different positions to hit, but um, the upper head clear and the upper head drop shot should um, have exactly the same movement until uh, just before you um, hit impact. I actually think that um, if Lena Christofferson can lower the pace a little bit so that she still, still plays faster than her opponent but is much more in uh, balance herself, then uh, things could become really difficult for the Malaysian. Some of the things that we will see from Eun here in the second game that she's trying to maintain a um, much bigger control of the rallies and will not allow Lena Christofferson to put her under pressure for two or three consecutive shots. Have to break off to stay alive in the rallies. confident in her attack and she wants them to be winners she don't want to play on that's well done excellent kill from the front court She's a keen baker in her spare time, Lena Christofferson. A good one too. Tells um, her teammates from the top. Both cakes and uh, muesli bars.
That's a fantastic drop shot. Excellent touch. The touch here is the ability to get it uh, close to the tape, both horizontally and uh, vertically. Long, the uh, flat drive from uh, Lena Christofferson. Oh, that's a bad shot. And uh, again, it's uh, you. So, 11-8, just was the case in uh, the first game. Three-point advantage, but uh, it's Lynn Christofferson's, that's one game up. I'm discussing that um, Lena Christofferson is perhaps guessing a little bit too much to uh, the taste of uh, Jesper Hågård. It's a fine line between anticipating and uh, guessing. And, uh, you want to pay a little bit better attention to uh, the front court when uh, when she's played the back court herself and says she wants to get below all the shots. There's not one time she's uh, playing the back court from a little bit of a defensive position. Um, Lena Christofferson, and that's the thing with uh, playing with pace, but it also means that um, the front court is a little bit open for uh, this lady here. That one. Even though she gets to it, Lena Christofferson, she still leaves opportunities open on the return. And you can almost see the upper part of her body. Oh, I need to get to this one. And she's I mean, it's, it's good that she's there, but it's not a control shot that she can play. Christofferson, that's very alert by the Dane. When you play a, a crushed lot shot like that and your opponent is standing in the middle of the court and one of the taller of the women singles players, then you really got to have a little bit of extra height. As we have sort of a snail camera perspective there. This um, pulled um, drop shot from um, Lena Christofferson, but not a very successful one.
which will Low play by uh, Ian here. Good deception from uh, well below the tape. pressure by the clearing game of uh, the Dane. They're disgusted. Was it in the interval or between the two games? And uh, yes, Bohoko and Lena Christopherson, they were alert to that it was um, a good shot. And they really have to pay attention to the uh, front court area. Oh, you lucky net court there. When she needed it most, there's a lot of difference between 14-16 and 17-13. Um, the retrieval but that net court is uh, just what uh, Christopherson ordered. Excellent uh, service return. Giving you on uh, a lot of pressure and now just uh, one point in it. it up in between the rallies taking too long time yeah. 
know, the good perception. For the first time in this second game since Love All, it's all square between the two players. Yeah, called long, but um, Lena Christofferson wants a second opinion on that one. Uh, I don't blame her, it's uh, an important time of the match, important time of the game. But well, long of the line and a good job by you. The line judge. A little bit of a clinched fist with the uh, line judge there. But uh, you have the right call. Good to see there's ambitions there as well. That's not the right call, I'm afraid. I'm not totally certain. It might have just clipped the uh, outer part of the line, but uh, challenge from uh, Ian again here. Yeah. Was out, and uh, the Malaysian supporters here in uh, CS Arena, they are thrilled. Sleep here because I thought it was 19 all, but it was 2018 because she was right on that challenge, Young Chi Shuan, and um, that missed shot from from uh, Lena Christofferson meant that um, Young Chi Shuan takes the second game, 21 18. So between the scoreline, only different player to win. As we are treated to uh, decide after the coaches has a chance to give uh, a few advices to the players in the uh, interval between the second and the third game. So ready for the uh, third and decisive game here in the uh, second women's single. It's a must win for Irene uh, Chishuan for Malaysia to stay alive in this um, team match against Denmark. There's that one. 
But I like the, uh, the short racket movement she has on, uh, on top of her swing. It makes it difficult for the opponent to read the shot. break off from a Malaysian perspective and the clear rallies clear battle <laughs> another lucky net court for Lena Christofferson Get that. Oh. that is over. It's too big a swing. Precise in her defense, Ong uh, Chi Xuan. That's something that's often underestimated. It's just about getting it over, but how well that was uh, placed. So it gave her a counter attacking opportunity immediately after. It's very underrated. That's it. Service judge covers his eyes, and uh, that means we get an unsighted, I think. The umpire calls for a Hawkeye decision. Official review. Let's go out. Wow. So, a very good start to the third game by Yun Chi Xuan. Again, shots to the front court that catches uh, Lena Christofferson. If not off guard, then at least it gives Ian here an advantage. Look at the reverse slice there. And the reply, way too weak from uh, Christofferson. She's, 
she's doing well. And she's running here, watching from uh, above in uh, Sears Arena. She covers the court well. Looks like uh, she's got uh, great anticipation skills. She's uh, moving smoothly in uh, the uh, slice drop shot from the forehand of Lena Christofferson that worked so well in the beginning of the match. It's uh, been a while since there's been points in it. There was one, but uh, also Leon is put under pressure by the previous shot, and I think that's really, really important. I think just that Christopher should realize that uh, Ian is not going to abide by the plan of being pressured and then attacked. At some point she's going to try and neutralize that uh, pressure. Oh, yeah, it's played to perfection. Really nice attack and clear. Great marking. Uh, 10-4 lead for Ian. Chi Xuan, that's not how the drummers here had foreseen this match to go. That's well played. Extremely well played by Ian Chi Xuan, who's completely controlling the third game here so far. 11-4 up at the uh, interval, and uh, Christopherson and the Danish team needs to come up with something if they want to change this around and secure the tie. It sounded like um, the Danes were switching to a more simple uh, plan, trying to uh, Play opposite, so to speak, if um, Yun Chi Xuan is playing the front court from the back court, then Christopher should play back at the net. If she plays it from the front court, then she should lift it over her. Let's see if um, that's the way forward. like Christopherson is waiting for uh, a clear but it's just not coming Stayed on the Malaysian side. The drop shot. It's been um, Lena Christofferson who's had the most luck on the uh, top of the tape, in my opinion. Got a little bit too greedy there, I think. Uh, Ian wants to play it like a winner. Also, um, tighten up a little bit, um, feeling that a win is uh, within reach. Although, not at all certain yet. There was a good deception from uh, Christofferson. 
I think indeed uh, Yong Chishuan has uh, felt that she's getting closer to the goal line and that has uh, tightened up just a little bit. So important for Christofferson not to uh, give her any easy points at the moment. Excellent technical skills. She holds it so long before she changes her mind. Shows that it's going to be a long. And then just delicately guards it over the net. Standing in, misjudgment. <laughs> she kept an eye on it all the way, but ended up just. You could almost see that uh, she wanted to change her mind just in the nick of time, but it was too late. There, it's not possible to make a good reply anyway, so you might just have a look. This could be really, really close. For the last five points to uh, Lena Christofferson. It's the drop shot that does the damage again. It is so tight. Both played over the net and close to the net in the uh, next direction. And well ahead of the uh, first double service line and forces Linux uh, Stuffson to take an extra step. Still, Kim Chi Xuan in the driver's seat, but a momentum swing towards uh, Lena Christofferson. Uh, it's the same recipe, it's the same uh, area where Ion is uh, exploiting. Christofferson's uh, footwork and uh, her own good shots. She's missing half a step again there, the Dane. But uh, we can't help but admire the touch of uh, Yun Chi Xuan. Amazing uh, skills with the racket. I 
as he's not playing back at the net. But uh, thank God for that, because uh, what a deception that was from uh, Christopherson. But I think it was um, the plan from uh, Hogo to uh, play back and avoid being put on pressure on the backboard a number of times. Now she succeeded this time here. I still feel the right plan was to block it and just play back at the net. So. She won't be put uh, under pressure over and over again. It's gone now. Played it too sharp. Good deception. Fantastic deception there from uh, Lena Christofferson, and she's not home safe, Yun Chi Shan. There's still a lot of work in this match, I suspect. player in top 50 here in Chishuan, that's a Korean player at 49th, so this would be um, a big win for her if she can pull it off. Yeah. There's difference in the touch of these uh, delayed shots from the backcourt. On the Danish and Malaysian side. That's what's helped her through this match so far. Yun Chi Shuan, magnificent touch. Lucky on the net court, but um, the, um, the line judge covers his eyes, can't see it, so we're going to have a whole eye decision. No. Nope. Who called it? Did the umpire call it? If so, then um, I think she was right. But, um, here in the hall, I just saw the line just cover his eyes as if he couldn't see it. Uh, but anyway, that means five match point opportunities for Yun Chi Shan here in the uh, second women's singles to uh, reduce the score in the tie where Denmark is 2-0 uh, up. And there it is, she's done it, Yun Chi Shuan has delivered when she had to. It was a must win match for Malaysia to keep their quarterfinal hopes alive. 
and slowly she worked her way into uh, the match, found the opportunities in her opponent's game and uh, exploited them. A job well done by the Malaysian and here is a confirmation of the score. 18-21, 21-18, 21-15 in just over an hour of play here in uh, the Steros Arena. So the team match is uh, very much alive. 2-1 for uh, Denmark after the uh, first three matches. Here is the uh, winning point for uh, Jung. And she's thrilled and uh, deservedly so. For the first time beats a top 25 player in the world. And um, that means that um, next match coming up is women's double. Amelia Melo and Freya Raun against uh, Thiel Meixing and Yapling from Malaysia just after the break. So after that um, thrilling uh, second women's single, we are back in the uh, Ceres Arena at the uh, Ceres Park here in uh, the Mercedes Forest in Aarhus. Overall score in uh, the tie between Denmark and Malaysia, 2-1.